Last week, I downgraded my phone from a Tesla battery pack down to pouch battery from a USB power bank. This is 10 and a half hour, and after a week of use, I'm quite disappointed. This is 10 amp hour, almost half the capacity of this. This lasts for four weeks on a single charge. This is about a little bit less than half, so I would expect around between one or two weeks, but it only lasts for a whopping three days. This is a Chinese knockoff brand, and I suspect it is not 10 amp hour as it says on the label of this battery. So in this video, I'm gonna do two things. Number one is to test the capacity of this battery to make sure it's 10 amp hour. I think it's gonna be much less. I'm gonna use this tester to uh, test the capacity of the battery. After that, I'm just gonna remove the battery and upgrade it with my good old 18650 batteries. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and test the capacity of this battery and it's already in my phone. The voltage is now at 4.11 volts, so it's fully charged to 100%. And I'm gonna go ahead and discharge it at three amps. So it should take about three hours. All right, it has been done. Let's check this out. Time elapsed is two hours, 43 minutes, and capacity is eight amp hour. So as you can see, the capacity is not 10 amp hour not even close. I got my new battery pack ready. This is an LG 3.3 amp power each. These are 18650 cells and they are connected in parallel six of them. Total capacity is 20 amp hour which is almost three times the capacity compared to this 8 amp hour. I've just tested. Compared to the power cell it is a little bit thicker but it's two and a half times the capacity compared to this. If I compare this to the Tesla 2170, it is actually more energy dense than the Tesla 2170 cells, believe it or not. It is thinner and six of these is even lighter than five of these. This is 20 amp hour, this is 25 amp hour. So this is what I originally put on the phone but by replacing with this, I got a little bit less capacity, but it's a lot lighter and thinner. The Tesla pack weighs 352 grams, whereas the LG pack weighs only 276 grams. So it's about 75 grams lighter than the Tesla pack. This is actually the highest capacity you can get for an 18650 cell besides the uh, cell that made by Panasonic for Tesla Model S. The new battery pack is a little bit thicker than the uh, power cell, so um, I'm not gonna fit in here. So what I have to do is to cut out a hole here. That's where the battery sits on the bottom. And then I'm gonna put in a new layer. This is three millimeter thick. So this is gonna be the new bottom layer of the uh, case of the phone. All right, I cut the hole through and put on the rubber cement on both of these pieces and now just put it on. And voila, here it is. Now I just need to cut out the excess and then make it smooth with my belt sander. And voila, here we go. So nice and smooth. I've also got my battery pack ready to go. Got my XC30 connector solder on here on the terminals. And also the main battery power cable soldered on the main battery terminal. I've got double-sided tape on this side of the battery. So when I put everything in, this battery is gonna stick on the phone. Let's put it in. Now I just peel off the uh, double-sided tape. I've got my XT30 connector to the side and got my double-sided tape ready. So now 
I just have to put the phone on and there we go it fits inside perfectly and the phone is working I'll let you peek inside the phone there we go so the LG 18650 I got a comment from my last video uh, somebody said that I might have some problem bringing this on an airplane well I did brought this on an airplane and I went through security checkpoint aka TSA went through the scanner just fine and uh, they didn't ask any question at all they were pretty chill no questions asked probably the guy already watched my YouTube video so he probably knows exactly what's inside this phone so he didn't ask any questions so there you have it 20 amp hour battery pack using 18650 cells instead of the Tesla Terminal 170 this gives me four weeks of runtime so hopefully this would give me about three weeks or so I think I can live with that I will update with you after I use this in a couple months or so alright until next time thanks for watching